Hello, I'm Aline, a backend developer at Colledger, and today I'm going to talk about Hyperledger Caliper. Hyperledger Caliper is a blockchain performance benchmarking framework where you can define custom use cases to get a set of performance test results. Caliper currently supports four metrics, performance metrics, the success rate, which is all the successful and failed transactions for a test cycle, the transaction and read throughput measures the transaction's flow rate in transactions per second. The transaction and read latency measures the time it takes the transaction to be completed and a response to be available to the application that issued the transaction. It shows the maximum, minimum and average latency. And the resources consumption, which measures the maximum, minimum memory and CPU consumption. Also, Caliper currently supports integration with four blockchain solutions, Hyperledger Bezo, Ethereum, Fiscal Beacles, and Hyperledger Fabric, which is the one I'll be demonstrating in this video. To demonstrate, I'll be deploying a network using GoFabric and the chain code CC Tools demo. GoFabric is a blockchain orchestrator platform developed by GoLedger where you can deploy and manage Hyperledger Fabric networks. And CC2's demo is a sample chain code showing a simple example on how to use the library CC2's develop, developed by GoLedger also. But you can use any other Fabric networks to test the Caliper benchmark. First, I'm going to set up the machine I'll be using to deploy the network. So after I set up the machine, I can create a new network. So I'll just click here and define the network configuration. So I have now deployed my network and I have deployed a simple one channel and one org network and we can now execute the benchmark. So I'm here with CC2's demo where I created the Caliper workspace which I'll be using to execute the benchmark. To do that first we have to bind with Fabric 2.4 which is the version I'm using. I have the script for binding here in the package JSON file, but we can use it on the terminal too. Then after the binding, we have to launch the manager to run the benchmark. In this command, we pass at least three parameters. The Caliper workspace is the path to the directory to serve as the root of the project. For me, it's the current directory, so I just use a dot. The caliper bench config is the path to the file which has the configuration of the test rounds, the test cycles. And the caliper network config is the path to the file containing the network configuration. So I added the binding and the launch manager in the same script called start. So I can just come here, go to the Caliper workspace and execute npm start and it will start the benchmark. And I'll be right back when the benchmark is done. It might take a while. Now the benchmark is done and before I show you the performance results, I'll just pass by the most relevant files for the execution of the benchmark that we have to define. We have the network configuration file, which basically indicates how the network is configured. For example, the blockchain solution we're using, which is Fabric, 
the channels, the contracts, the organization, the certificates. And then we have the benchmark configuration file in which are defined all about the test rounds. In each round, we have these parameters, the label and description, the transaction duration, which is the time in seconds that Caliper will submit transactions, the rate control and the workload. For the rate control, we can use different test variations like fixed load, fixed rate, maximum rate, and a few other ones. For example, the first and the second round of tests, we use a fixed load with a different load in each one. Here is 4 and here is 12. But in the third test, we use a fixed rate. And this is all for the same transaction, a read asset transaction, which is defined in the workload we created here. And you can check the official documentation to see other arguments and examples and variations for the tests that we can use. And now let's take a look at the results of the benchmark run. So I just opened the report file you can open it on your browser and we can look now at the results. First, we have the summary of the performance metrics with the success rate, the throughput and the latency for each one of the test cycles that we have defined. So this name here is the name that we defined on the benchmark configuration file for each test round. The success and fail show the number of successful and failing transactions. The send rate is the rate at which Caliper issued the transactions. The maximum, minimum and average latency relates to the time taken in seconds between issuing a transaction and receiving a response. And the throughput is the average number of transactions processed per second. And down here we have the results detailed for each round. It shows how the round is configured and the results, the results for it. And this is it for the benchmark performance results. Here we have for all the rounds. And this is it. So Hyperelectric Caliper has a lot more to it than what we showed in this video. So if you want to, you can check the official documentation and explore more. This is it for this video. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.